Lindsay, and so I'm here, and I'm standing with Noelle Moore. Noelle, Noelle, tell me what you're expecting out of this event. Um, I've been to this event in years past, and it's incredible. The energy is amazing. You can feel God um, just amplified in all the work that's being done to showcase Him, and so I'm happy to be here in Orlando, Florida. Great. Thank you very much. Awesome. Thank you. Hi. So I'm standing here with... So I'm standing here with Alan. Alan is about to go into a movie. Which movie? Oh, let me look here. Sure. Uh, the Open Door. The Open Door. All right, so what are you expecting to see? It's, from what I read in the description, it's a film about a disabled person that loses his home and has to go live with another relative or something like that. But I expect it to be very dramatic, emotional. Right. Yeah. Very good. All right, well, maybe I can meet with you afterwards and okay. give your take on it. Sure. All right, great. Thank you, Alan. Uh -huh. All right, so I'm standing here with... Zach Fazio. Zach Fazio. He has a movie playing today. Tell me about it. So I'm the director of Finding Guy, documentary, hour and a half long. Um, I was nominated for Best Director of a Feature-Length Documentary at the festival. The documentary is about the intersection of homosexuality and the church. Ooh, that's a good topic. Hot topic, too. It is definitely a hot topic. Um, if, you, uh, if you were to see the trailer online, Finding Guy documentary, you'll notice that it, uh, the documentary comes across as it could be potentially a very uh, fire uh, blazon oriented, but it's not like that. Uh, it's so filled with love and compassion. And a lot of the critics of the film who uh, would stand up in the post opposition to it, once they see it, have a different mentality. That's cool. All right. Very good. Well, thank you very much. So I'm right now. I'm standing here with Christy Phillips. Christy Phillips. Christy has a music video. Tell me about that. Um, it's a. It's called Amazing Love. We filmed it about a little over a year ago. Um, it's a beautiful picture. Just, uh, just experiencing God's love. Um, we just wanted to get it out there and just show people that God's love is very simple. It's innocent. It's fun. It's, it's creative. And, and uh, we just wanted to just send a, a message where everything just seems to be falling apart right now. We just wanted to put something out there that was just fun and free, the way God is. <laughs> awesome. Thank you. So is it showing? Is it's it showing show? Thursday night. Yeah. Thursday night. Thursday night. Okay. Great. All right, so if you haven't, have, if you don't have plans or you're not sure where you want to be, it's Thursday night. Do you know what room? I do not yet. <laughs> well, look in the brochure. Yeah, definitely look it up in the schedule. And what's the name of it? Amazing Love. Amazing Love. Yeah. All right, great. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so here I am, and I'm standing with Curtis Graham. Curtis Graham. Curtis Graham. Curtis Graham, tell me a little bit about you. Uh, I'm the director of uh, Director of Art. Oh, I think it's great. It's a great venue. It's uh, fun. You meet a lot of people in the industry. It's kind of a small industry. It's kind of neat because everybody knows everybody else. Do you speak Portuguese? Or getting to know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great. Yeah. 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 Right. So what do you expect to get to come from here? Uh, well, I just I just basically see how my film is received with the work that I'm and we uh, just meet and network with people in the industry. Yeah. All right. Well, maybe I'll get your interview again after, and we'll see how you, how you feel about your film today. All right. Thanks. Thanks. This is recording. Oh, okay. Yeah, we'll hook this part out. But, all right, so here I am uh, with, tell me your name. Larry and Dottie. Larry and Dottie. Larry and Dottie were here last year, so tell me a little bit about last year. It's all really good films. We thought maybe someone we seen in the movie theater, but we never did. They were that good at quality. We didn't see hardly anything that was poorly done. Oh, we saw all different kinds of films. We saw some short films. We saw some documentaries. We saw like plays put on by churches, but they've been filmed. You know, right. And, uh, they really, really enjoyed the whole experience. I mean, we only came for one day last year, and we're coming for three days this year. Oh, very good. So, so what do you expect to, to this year to be about, like, your experience? Well, some good Christian movies that have good 
information and that's what We never knew that what this was really about. We stumbled into this last year, saw some kind of advertisement or media solicit. Something came out for us to see. We said, let's go to the So we went over and uh, got here and had no idea what to expect. And we, it was fascinating to us because it was exciting. It was just to be in the middle of it all, you know, to, to different players that were here. And, uh, and we didn't even know what we had stumbled into. And so we were watching one of the movies and it was over and somebody came up and said, are any of the people that were in this movie uh, here? And they were sitting in front of us. And it was like, so what's going on here? Right, you know, right. it was exciting. It's exciting. Yeah, right. so that so, was the neat part. We yeah, actually right. had to see the, the young lady the producer yeah. and why and how a little bit more into depth of the movie and so on. And it gives me chills today to think back about that. So yeah, we kind of expect that experience this year. Right. You know, oh, absolutely. So, right. So you're about to go into a movie theater? Well, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. What movie are you going to see? Do you know the name? It's on your thing here. Yeah. Uh, is that the open door? Yeah, I wasn't the open, the open, open door. door. Okay, yeah. very good. Yeah. Well, maybe I'll catch you afterwards. And okay. Know you okay. All right, great. Thank okay. you. Sure. So I'm standing here with Amy McCorkle. All right, Amy, tell me about why you're here at International Christian Film. Well, it's kind of twofold. I have a trailer here that is nominated for Best Trailer. It's called The Guardian Proof Concept. Trailer um, and then the script for it, television series pilot script, was an official selection. So that one's pretty so much I'm taking this bit on its own. But I'm also here to try to find funding for my um, feature script, Letters to Daniel, which was a nominee here in 2016. Okay. And it is, has to do with how um, I went in to be in a one day at a time recovery. For bipolar disorder, and went on to become an award-winning and best-selling author, blogger, screenwriter, and filmmaker. And it's told through the prism of mine and my writing partner, writing partner and caregiver's friendship. Okay. Wow. That sounds really. Good. So, what is your favorite song that ministers to you right now? Oh wow, um, <laughs> there's so many. Oh, All right, top three. <laughs> top three. Oh, and I'm going to make me think. Uh, and if you don't know the words, a uh, little piece of lyrics. Uh, I will say I Can Only Imagine is a big one. I love that song. Yep. It makes me cry every time I hear it, but not in a bad way. Right, no, it's good. It's cleansing. Um... I'm trying to think what else. Uh, I, I can't think. You know what? That was great. You answered my first question. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you very much. Keto oh, Kitty. Hold on. Start now. Hi, I'm Ruby the Keto Kitty, coming at you live from Orlando. And my booth that we're doing right now is the fourth macronutrient, ketones. So if you ever heard of keto, ketogenic diet, it's exogenous ketones you drink, and within 30 minutes, you get in ketosis. So that's our ketosis. Wait a minute. What is ketosis? So ketosis is when your body burns fat for fuel instead of carbs. Ooh, nice. So instead of having to like, you know, try to cut back on your sugars, cut back on your carbs, but sometimes it's hard. You cheat. There's bread at the table or pizza or a cupcake. So you can still drink this, put you right back in ketosis. Your body will choose that over glucose, get right back into ketosis and a better health. Nice. Oh my gosh. So how can we find you? We are right here at this booth. Or theketokitty.com. K E T O K I T T Y.com. All right. That's us. Thank you. Thanks.